Oh, hello there. How are you doing? Oh, good. I am so glad to hear it. So am I. It's week 36 of quarantine and lockdown. I'm still alive. <laughs> Thanks be to God. <laughs> anyway, I've got some news to share with you. I finished the reconstruction phase of the physical simulator itself. So, I wanted to give you this quick update and let you see what it looks like now. So, come on in, let me show you. Here we are going into the simulator room. Now I've turned on the one main screen at the background there just to show you its size in relationship to the simulator. There you can see all the parts are in. Everything is screwed down so it's all in solid. That's the main instrument panel, the glare shield, the and here's the forward overhead. I did check all the wiring to make sure. And here you can see one of the side um, I suppose it's a joystick controller, it's a game controller, but it's made by Leo Bodner and it's very good. This is connecting my pedals and all sorts of buttons. And there's speakers on the side. Here's a view of the front or the back, whichever you want to think of it. Lots of wiring there, lots of plugs. And here's the view from the other side. You can see the wheels on the bottom of the side monitors, so they are movable and they will be moved into position when we're ready. I also added the speakers back on. Now, I've got two sets of rear speakers. Here's the right side and these, of course, are going to be for the various sound effects coming from PDMG and also from P3D. There's the left monitors. So two sets there, and of course there is the main front ones. Talk about all the buttons. All of those buttons there are connected to that Leo Bodner unit. This is a new monitor I've just installed. It's the lower display unit, but I'm thinking I can use it for my main window screen for that particular computer that runs the main instrument panel and the hardware. The pedals and the yoke for the first officer and here's the little tablet that I use for navigational purposes and Jefferson charts on the captain's side. Here's a new idea. Now, I put the dining room chairs back in the dining room for the while and been using this fold-up wooden chair. What do you think? Do you think that Ryanair would catch on with a new economy seat? Cushions extra, of course. <laughs> and here's the view from the driver's seat, if you will, looking down the slope of the glare shield. There was a question raised by one person as to whether or not the monitors were properly placed. I'm not really sure. But I judged everything by the way that the monitors looked at the bottom looking down the glare shield from the point of view. Here you can see I've added the left monitor in place. Of course it says no signal because there is no computer connected. Anyway, 
this is what the unit is looking like so far. I'm actually quite pleased that all the wiring went back in place, everything connects and it all checks out. So there you have it. That's the latest update. We're coming along, coming along very nicely. Now I've got the tedious business of installing all the flight software into two computers. I've already got Windows 10 on both of them and now I've got to put in the flight stuff. The P3D, I've got to put in PMDG in one of them and then of course all the airport sceneries and I've got 150 of those to install. So that will take some time. There's other things I will need to put in as well such as Navigraph and um, all the other software that will be needed, FSUIPC among other things. So I'll get to work on that and give you an update in a few more days when things are ready. When I've got them done, all the wiring is in place. All I've got to do is plug everything in and hope I don't blow the fuses. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.